What's going on guys? John Older here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change text color and background color for our text editor with Kinter in Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at changing text color and background color. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, we are moving right along with our text editor thing. And in this video, I want to show you how to change text color of selections. So we can do something like this, change that, or come up here if we want to change the background of our text editor, that color, or all of the text. We could click, we do all the text, change it all like that, and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our text. We're in textpad.py using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And if this is the first video of this series you're watching, check the uh, comment section below for the link to the playlist for the first few videos in this text editor little series we've been working on. So, all right, let's come down here to our buttons. Let's start out there. And maybe we wanna add this as a button. Maybe we wanna just make it a menu item, whichever you like, it doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna add this as a button. So let's say uh, text color and let's go color underscore text underscore button and that's going to be a button and we want to put this in our toolbar frame right and we want the text to equal what text color maybe and let's give this a command of text underscore color and we'll make this function in just a second so now we can color underscore text underscore button dot grid this guy and we want to put it in a row zero, we want to put it in column, uh, let's see, four, because three is the last one we had. And let's give this a little pad X of five, just to push it apart a little bit from the other buttons. So, okay, that looks good. Now we can come up here and to our function section and let's go uh, change, let's comment this, change selected text color. So let's define this function. And what we wanna do is create a tag with a certain color for any selection that we have. And we already sort of know how to do this from last couple of videos when we did bold and italics. So I'm just gonna copy any of these really. And we could come down here and paste them in. And instead of ital italics font, let's call this uh, color font. So this will be color font. And this we'll call this color underscore text or colored maybe. And we'll change this to color font that we don't really don't need that. And we'll look at that in a second. And here we'll go uh, colored. And let's see, this will be colored. And this will be colored because that's what we call this tag. So we've got this thing. And we really don't need to configure this to slant, so we can take this out or even just delete it. And here, we're setting this con the, the font to this font color. What we really wanna do is set the foreground color. So foreground equals, and let's just call this my underscore color. Let's put a variable in there, and we'll make this in just a second. Now notice I did foreground instead of FG. Uh, I think you have to actually do foreground instead of FG. Most of the time you could do either or, but I think in this case you have to do foreground. Check and see if I'm wrong about that, but I think you have to do the whole, type the whole foreground in there. So, okay, next we need that color. So let's say, uh, pick a color, and it's gonna be my color. So what we wanna use is the color chooser that comes with Kinter, but we gotta import that. So let's go from T Kinter, import color chooser. And we've done color chooser in the past. If you haven't seen that video, check the playlist in the comment section below. There's a video on the color picker chooser thing. So if you really wanna learn more about it, I'm gonna go through it kind of quick here because I assume we've already seen that video, uh, but go back and watch that if you, if you need to. So to use the color chooser, we can just set this variable equal to color chooser dot ask color. And then this will return well, actually, let's see what it returns, right? So let's come down here and grab our status bar, which is called which is called status bar. And let's just update the status bar with whatever my color is. So let's go status bar.config. 
and say text equals my underscore color. So for now, let's just do that. So let's save this and run it. So Python textpad.py. And we could do something here. And if we click this, this pops up. So now let's pick uh, red or whatever. And you'll see down here, this is what it gets, this is what gets returned. This is the RGB value right here. And right here, this FFF000, that's the hex value, the hex color code. And that's what we want to grab. So that is the, this is returning actually a list or a tuple. I can't remember. It doesn't matter, either or. Uh, and this is this these bracket things, that's the first item, the zeroth item. This color code is the first item. Because remember, lists start at zero. So so all of this is zero. The hex color code is, is one. So we could just call, bring back our code here. So we can reference that just right here. We could just call one. So now if we save this and let's run this again. And let's click this, click red. Now it's just returning that hex color code. So we know, and this error will go away in just a second. So we know that my color is that hex color code. So we could just take this down here to our Thing right here and just slap it in as the foreground color for our selection right here oops right here and here and uh, that should do the trick so so okay let's go ahead and save this and run it again to see if that works let's clear this errors okay so let's get some text highlight it click this and you can see now it's changed colors. So, okay, that's good. But let's see if we do this and then we hit cancel, this gets changed around. And so we need to sort of fix that real quick. And we can do that with a basic if statement. So let's come back up here and let's go if my underscore color, then do all of this stuff. Okay. So that will that will change that. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that worked. Should. So here we go. Highlight it. Cancel. Uh, let's change the color to red. Highlight some of it. Cancel. Stays red. So okay, so now that works. So okay, that's how to, to do that. Now, what about changing the entire background or all the text at once? So let's do that now. So let's head down here and let's actually make this a menu item. So I'm just gonna kind of copy a couple of these. And then come down here and let's make another menu item and let's call this color menu. And instead of edit menu, let's call this color menu. And ju -ju -ju -ju, my menu and we're gonna call this colors. And the menu is going to be color menu. And here, let's go what? Uh, change selected text, maybe. And that's going to be this thing we just did. So text color. So we can just copy this and paste it as the command. Okay, so that should work. Next, let's change all text. Or let's just, let's go all text color, or just say all text, we're in the color menu, we already know. So, so here we'll make this selected text, we'll make this all text, and let's do another one, and we'll call it background. Okay. So let's do the background first, because why not? So inside of here, let's take out this guy. So as our command here, let's call back, or let's, let's call this BG underscore color. So let's head back up to our function section here and let's make a new one. Change BG color and let's define BG color. And this one's actually pretty easy. We can actually just come up here and let's copy this again. And let's go if my underscore color. So if a color has been selected, we can just go my underscore text. This is the name of our text widget. And we can config it. And we just want to change the BG color to whatever that my underscore color is. Okay. So that should work. And 
Let's come down here and do, let's get rid of this. And let's call this all underscore text underscore color. We're changing all of the text and we can come back up here and let's make another function. Let's go change all text color. And we can define all text color. And I'm just going to copy all of this because it's the same stuff. We're picking a color, sending it through here. But instead of BG, this is FG, right? Text in a text widget is foreground color or FG. The background of the text widget is background color or BG. So, okay, those look good. Let's go ahead and save this and see if I mess this up because, you know, entirely possible. So let's go colors. Uh oh. Yep. What do we do? So we probably color menu, well, colors and color menu. That looks good. Ah, all of these guys need to be changed to color menu. See, this is what happens when you copy and paste. <laughs> okay, so now that should work. No biggie. All right, so let's bring this over and let's click colors. Let's change the background to black. Click OK, boom, that changes. Uh, let's change the all text to green. And if we open a file now, let's say sample.txt, boom, it pops up, it's all green. Uh, let's change membership. So let's go to colors and selected text. Let's change this to yellow. All right, that works and we're good to go. So pretty cool, pretty easy to manipulate different types of text, either individually with selection or, you know, up here where we did all the text and all the background and uh, yeah, it's coming right along. So, oh, one more thing down here before let's get rid of this thing. So we can come back over to our code. And that was in the very first thing we did up here when we changed our status bar. We don't need to do that because that was just for testing purposes. Go ahead and save it. Run it one more time. Change our, or let's see, let's open a file. Okay, let's change all of the text, or no, we want to change all the text to green <laughs> and all the background to black. And down here it says we've opened the sample text. It doesn't have the text color stuff, so that's good. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pages $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.